You already started? Oh, okay. Um, so, APS rolls. Um, this little tab right here um, is the one that gets knocked out uh, when the film has been developed already. Once this tab is knocked out, these little markers are effectively useless. They don't tell you any useful information. Um, when they're still active like that, um, that means that they have not been developed and that this information will be accurate. Um, there usually would be a uh, piece in here that looks like that. If you get a screwdriver that fits in this hole um, and it should twist and unlock that, that's how the door opens and closes. Um, this door also latches um, the spool so that it is locked in that position. Um, so for example, this one's at four. It is locked in that position. If you go in and open the door, it will unlock the position. It also allows you to spit the film out. Um, just pick a screwdriver that's wide enough that it fits into the little teeny tiny tab that's right in there um, so that you can turn the, the spool. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to spit out all of the film um, and I usually leave the small screwdriver um, on the actual screwdriver. Uh, and then I'll have this one by itself because it's faster to unload it. Um, let's see. At the end, the way that I've been unloading these is by making a little tool that looks like this. This is just a cutoff of a piece of film. Um, it just has to be narrower than the um, film itself. Um, and the way that it works is you'll hold it backwards so that it's facing the film. It goes in, ooh, come on, underneath, and what you do is you push it in, you pull a little bit, you'll pinch on either side of the spool so that the spool does not spin, then push in, push both the tool and the film in, and then press in with uh, the tool only while you press it in, and it'll unlatch the film. To get it back in, it's basically the same thing, but it's usually a little bit more picky. Um, let's see, come on. If I recall correctly, the perfect position is to get this so that that marker looks like that. And then grab your tool and pop it back in there again. Um, the curlier this end is, the harder this uh, reinsertion will be. Um, come on. I'm trying to hold the film and pop it back in. And it'll make a little snap. There we go. So it made the little snap sound. Now it's latched back in again. Um, and then you can just take the end. And rewind the whole thing back in. Um, for the SP3000, this little notch has to be knocked out for it to be able to uh, register it. That's so that you don't accidentally put um, a undeveloped roll into the machine and then try to scan a undeveloped roll and expose the whole thing. Um, I think that's everything.